video, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel, Pisces Spirit Moon. And if you're a returning soul, as usual, welcome back, okay? Leo, this will be a general reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So if you have Leo in any of those placements in your chart, this should just about be the reading for you, okay? Keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they're general, so just keep what resonates and leave the rest behind. Don't try to force or fit anything. Don't go manifesting what is not meant for you, okay? Uh, please do subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. All of that helps my channel grow, and I do like to hear feedback from my viewers, okay? And last but not least, Leo, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, or if you would like to make a kind donation and support my channel through those means, all the info is in the description box down below the video. Keep in mind that's the only way that you can contact me, there's no other way, and that I do not reach out to anyone offering my services, okay? So please do be aware of any scams. And Leo, this... Uh, reading or video should be published on the day of a full moon in Scorpio, okay? I'm running a little behind here. I hope I, I can do it uh, exactly on that day. But it doesn't mean that you have to watch this video on exactly the moment of that uh, full moon, okay? Like I said, my readings are timeless. The energy stays lingering for months, you know, and not everybody goes through the same process at the same time. That's why my readings are timeless, like I said in the beginning of the, of the video, okay? I just like to publish my videos on full and humans. And well, I kind of focus a little bit on the energy of that moon, you know, but it doesn't mean that's going to happen. Whatever I, I channel, it doesn't, it's not going to happen exactly on the moment of that moon phase. Okay, give me a second. Well, I channel your energy, Leo. Leo, I'm picking up a little bit of uh, probably some forgiveness or healing that has to be done here. But I don't know if it's related within you or in the situation. We'll see in a minute, okay? And if something. Old. I mean, not like it's, it's, it's something that has already grown. For example, a marriage that a long-term marriage that has to be repaired. That's what I'm trying to to. It's something that's very very strong and old. It could be a family situation. Something like that. Okay, Leo. The heart of the matter, what this reading will be about. For some of you, it's the current energy that you're dealing with or will be dealing with soon. Okay. It's the star. That's a uh, very strong Aquarius energy. Okay, right off the bat, I got some healing here. Okay, it's some balancing, hoping, wishing, and something to do with vulnerability. Something, someone has to be vulnerable in the situation in order to. It's uh. I... I had a dream a long time ago about me and my vulnerability. You know, it's, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to make it as short as possible because the dream had many other messages, but I was in this room with, in this house with many, many rooms, but the house did not have a ceiling on it. And it was nighttime and I could see like all the stars above me. And there were other, people were calling me in other rooms and that has nothing to, to do with the dream, so. With what, well, with what I'm trying to tell you, I, those were other mes personal messages for me. But I understood that this house was a vulnerable home because it didn't have a ceiling on it. But there was a beauty to it. And it was, I could see the stars above me. And in order to connect to that divine energy, the only way to do it is by being vulnerable. And I believe that that's pretty much maybe a message that is being told to you here. 
It's something about having to be vulnerable, okay? The energy that is crossing you, and it could be challenging you, is the Ten of Pentacles. Some stability here, okay? Now, I said about something that has become strong and old with time. You know, it's, it's, it's like... And maybe this is what has to be repaired. Something in the home or in a family. It's repairing a, a... Making things more stable. And I get a sense about... This is a challenge for you. Something with loyalty also and trust. People that are around you or that you are dealing with. It could be family members. It could be a, a, a... It could be a job environment. It could be a, a relationship, okay? A marriage. You, you take that as a resonance. I only read the energy, okay? Your situation is none of my business. I always say that. But this is the energy that is, is, is challenging. Is this form of stability. Feeling stable. The energy that is crowning you in your conscious mind, and you do see clearly, is the hermit. And for some of you, you have stepped into this energy where you are probably withdrawing your energy from others uh, a bit uh, what did I say withdrawn and closed within yourself okay probably wanting to be left alone somehow it's strong Virgo energy but maybe I don't know if it's good or bad I mean it's always good to step away on and be on your own for a while to focus on things properly to listen to your inner wisdom which is that star in the lamp the same star here and trying to figure out how to how to probably work around this situation I get that healing and forgiveness. Uh, I don't know if you are you have to forgive someone or you are waiting to be forgiven by someone. Or forgiven, I'm sorry. Um, but yes, you 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 see clearly, or that maybe you have to step into this energy for some time, isolate yourself, to put your mind and thoughts and, and proper perspective here to figure out how to how to repair the situation and the situation is, is something very solid that has been somehow fractured the energy in your subconscious mind and you don't see clearly, but you should because this is what the universe is usually trying to make you focus on. It's not like the uh, final advice of the reading, okay? A lot of people confuse this, but no, this is what somehow what you should put your mind on more at right now. This is Six of Swords. I get immediately like try to put your mind a little more in ease. If you're stressing, try to put your mind into calmer things. That's why they're moving into calmer waters. And they're carrying all those sorts of knowledge with them, you know. And this image really shows how they are probably tired, um, sad. And maybe even for some of you, you know, uh, it might be some sense of guilt, okay? But they need you to to move your mind into that state of, of not stressing too much about 
the situation because stressing is not going to help you repair it. Maybe just try to focus your mind on, on, on other things at the moment and let things, try to balance things or make let things balance on their own. We'll see that in a minute, okay? Because I don't see any action being taken here, at least from your part. Except for that vulnerability that has to take place. Leo, the energy behind you, <clears throat> for some of you is your recent past, but this is what's making you, making you go through the situation. This is what push you through this. We have the Justice card, strong Libra energy. Uh, okay, I immediately got some, probably some legal matters could have happened that caused this rupture in the situation, place, situation or relationship. Maybe someone tried to bring justice on their own when they probably shouldn't. But I get a sense of something that wanted to be balanced and to have an equal give and take. Something happened and it didn't really work out that way. And this doesn't have to be anything legal or anything, it's just some, probably even just something that happened in this specific situation that threw it off balance. The energy in front of you, where you're headed to, for some of you, it's probably the near future. Seven of Pentacles, okay? I get that image of that tree again. I think you're going to put your mind, you're gonna step out a little bit. And you're going to try to see things from another point of view. It's like, you know, you can't see the forest because of the trees, too many trees. You're gonna step out of the forest to be able to see the whole, the whole forest from the outside. And I get a sense that you're going to do that. You're going to analyze and study the situation from another point of view. And I, maybe by withdrawing your emotions, maybe grudges, or maybe sense of guilt, I don't know. Okay. That's why the divine is trying to tell you to, to move out somehow so that you can see it from another point of view. And maybe even, this is going to be a bit harsh for some of you, but accept that it's coming to a realization of maybe the situation is no longer for me. Maybe I have outgrown the situation. And it could be even something generational, but sometimes things like that become outdated. if you want to see it that way. And maybe you might get a hint about that for some of you, okay? But for others of you, I think you'll just be studying this situation from another point of view. This is the energy that is representing you or how you will be taking it. 
action on the situation. It's the devil. It's strong Capricorn energy. And this is good if you do this the way you are being told to. I think you are going to break some type of bounding energy that you have been bounded to for a long time. It could be even some type of karmic energy that you were tied to that you didn't even know or didn't even ask for. It could come from another past life, you know. And maybe it's time for you to break it. Sorry about that. But this is you facing something that is no longer needed or good for you. Understanding that you have outgrown something probably. It's time to cut the chains and, and release yourself. Even probably from an obligation that you didn't even want. But you thought you had to accomplish or I don't know. I don't know why I see for a lot of you it's like some type of family business or family situation. That's for some of you, okay? But it could also be a relationship that you might probably see that it's probably time to either move away from I don't think it's much about healing it. I think it's more about healing yourself and learning how to forgive. The energy that's surrounding you and it's influencing you. It's the king of swords. It's Not only are you receiving some type of clarity, I think you've seen things already for what they are, or you will be soon. And I think you will know how to deal with them now, especially once you face this energy and understand it and see that you have probably outgrown it or it's just not it's just not giving you the fruition that you were expecting. I think you'll be able to deal with it. It's very strong, similar energy, you know. They're very similar. They both have that sword up in the, in the air. There's a lot of clarity coming in here for you, Leo. I feel that you were obligated to do something. And now you're understanding that it's not that way. I have a sense that you want to be forgiven because you can't accomplish this. You don't have to. You don't want to have to ask for forgiveness because you, 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 to begin with, you, you, you didn't have to do this. It wasn't your obligation to do so. But something or someone planted this into deep into your mind, probably even from childhood. There's a lot of healing that has to be done here and forgiveness. Leo, your hopes and fears. It's the Three of Pentacles. Okay. Right off the bat, I just felt this energy of you being observed and, and probably even tested. That's in your mind. I think that it's like you really, really care more about what others think about you and your actions and what you do and what you can accomplish. You feel tested somehow, absurd. I get a lot of critical energy here. 
And this energy has to be released because this is what's, this is what has to be healed within you. It's like, you're hoping to be somehow admired by the things that you can do and accomplish. But that has to go. And that's where that devil energy comes from. You have to move away and start seeing things from another point of view, from the outside, which you've never done before. Because you were, you were always trapped inside that forest. Now you have to step out and look at the... Well, you were in the woods. Now you have to step out and look at the forest, you see? That's the way it has to be done now. It's a lot of criticism, judging, questioning. Well, why didn't you do that? Or well, you should do this. Well, maybe you should do it this way. But you're, you're seeing that. Maybe you don't have to go, you don't have to do this. It was never your obligation, but somehow you thought it was. Outcome or advice, which I usually take more as advice. Two of Cups, healing. That's my mirror talking card. That's you standing in front of a mirror and being true and loyal to yourself. Speaking words of truth and clarity. And being true to yourself, you know. Coming to perfect balance, your divine masculine feminine energy and healing. I get a lot of balance in here. It's focusing more on yourself now. That's what they're telling you. Heal yourself, focus on yourself. Maybe you are getting that hint already with that hermit energy crowning. But this hermit energy gives me more of that sense of you. It's like trying to hide or run away. Sometimes when people question you, or you feel criticized or tested, or I don't know, it's just really weird. But all of this has to be released. You have to put an end to this. We have a full moon in Scorpio. So I kind of see the death energy with this full moon in Scorpio affecting the situation for you. You see, yeah, that hermit is the, it's your mind. You're trying to put your head somewhere else. It's not working. It's not working. I mean, in the sense of putting it in another place the way, not the way it should be done. It's, you have to do it in another, in another way. But, and that's by taking all your energy with you and just withdrawing from whatever it is. That, it's even obsessive, but you're gonna be releasing that. I'm quite sure. Bottom of the... <laughs> there you go. Okay? It's, it's, it, you have to put an end to this. It's, whatever this is that you feel obligated to do, you, you don't have to do it anymore. You never had to, to begin with. But something fooled you on your life path, making you think that you were obligated to do this for the rest of your life. Hmm. Nope. Because you never focused on yourself. And that's what they're telling you now. It's time. It's time to focus on yourself. It's not the way it was before. You've outgrown this, Leo. 
Leo, I don't need to clarify anything, but I am going to pull some additional advice from the Osho Tarot, which I use Mars Oracle for additional advice. And, well, these messages may or may not be related to the reading, but they may help you put your mind in other things while you go through this process of releasing and putting an end to this. This additional advice for Leo, please. Yeah. This additional advice for Leo, please. That's it. I've got a few. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember what I said about you maybe even comparing with others, feeling observed, criticized, you know? Like comparison energy right there. It's number five. You see, one is a bamboo stick and one is a, like an old oak tree, you know? I mean, they're totally different. That's why we just do not compare ourselves to others. We do not compete with others. We do not try to achieve things to surprise or to seek validation. Do not do that. We have the creator, okay. It's just a strong energy of you trusting, connecting with source, trying to balance yourself. Ask for help, ask for healing if you need it. See? pretty much holds that energy. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable and ask for help from the divine, from source, from anyone. Listen to your inner light. Fighting comes from that energy also. That justice card in the past, you know, could have, something could have happened also. I see a lot of people actually fighting. It's not, it's more than three people, that's for sure. But it's like everybody's always, it's like everybody's attacking each other here. Somehow you absorb more of this energy and you try to bring things, you try to bring justice into the table, which you shouldn't. That's the divine's job, not yours to do. And I think that's when you think that you feel obligated to do things for others instead of focusing on yourself, instead of your healing. New vision, that's six of card, that's six of sword energy, okay? It's that new way of seeing things and understanding that you have probably outgrown this. It's that clarity, okay? Leo, last one, understanding. I get a, a lot of sense of self-forgiveness here. And even forgive others around you that have probably 
taking advantage of you because I, th I think some of you have really sacrificed a lot in this situation. And people were really thankful. Maybe they pretended to be. And this is going to free you. This understanding, this clarity is going to set you free. From a men mental trap that you were you were in for a long time of your life, for a long period of your life, if not maybe even all your life. It's time for you to forgive them and forgive yourself more than anything. But it's time to put an end to this. Okay, Leo. Immediately, that's just, you know, it's incredible. That's why I love Tarot. Because uh, it's a big ending. And that's that full moon in Scorpio. I think something's going to happen in this day that's going to start making you see things a little clear. Okay. All right. Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there for you. Scorpio. I'm sorry, Leo. Leo, I'm going to leave it there for you, okay? I hope this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance and the answers that you're seeking at this moment, at this very moment of your life, okay? I wish you all the best luck, all the healing, okay? A lot of strength, okay? And I hope to see you next time. Please do click the like button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I always like to hear feedback, like I said. Okay? All right. Hope to see you next time, Leo. And as usual, please stay safe, be happy, and stay very, very blessed. Goodbye.